Hi all, John Jarvis here from ebusinessmasterclass.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a PayPal button to your WordPress website. In doing this, you have the choice of using one of the buttons supplied by PayPal, or adding a button to your website that you create yourself, like I'm doing. So the first thing to do is log into your PayPal account. So what you want to do is once you're logged in, you look down on the left for seller preferences and you click on it. When you do, a new window is going to open up. What you want to do from here is click on PayPal buttons, manage my PayPal buttons, and update. Now you want to click on create new button. If you click this drop down arrow, you see that you have a choice of shopping cart, buy now, donations, gift certificates, subscriptions, automatic billing, or installment plan. In this tutorial, I'm going to use the buy now button. Right here, you want to name your item. I'm going to call this EBM eBooks, but it can be named whatever you want, of course. You can add an item ID if you want to. That's for someone who has a lot of different things to sell and wants to keep track of it. Now here you add your price. And you can choose your currency. Here you can customize your button with a drop down menu. Down here you're looking at shipping, but if you sell electronic products you don't need to worry about that. What I'm going to do right here is use my primary email address. Now what you want to do is click on step 3. These are your important parts. The top radio button here, just leave that as it is. Can your customer add special instructions in a message to you? You may as well leave that set as yes. Do you need your customer's shipping address? Well, that would be a no for a product that's delivered electronically, but yes if you're selling something that needs to be shipped to a physical address. Now this area here, it gives you the option of taking a potential customer to a certain web page if they cancel their checkout before they finish. You'd use this, let's say, if you wanted to offer them a lower price just to make the sale. Personally, I've never used this. I'd rather follow up with people through email to make a sale myself. Now this area right here, it is very important and it's one that people need to think about depending on what they're selling and how it's being delivered to their customer. In my case, it's a set of ebooks and normally I'd send people to a membership website registration page. For someone that doesn't have membership site software, your best bet would be to create a web page to send people to that gives them instructions to check their email account. And you'd do this if you were password protecting a download page and you had to send your customers the password. I'll show you a page like that in a minute, but for now I'm just going to use my home page. So what you want to do is click right here. And you need to add your website URL right here. Now. On a side note, if I decide to use this for something later, I'll come back and edit it. But for now, I'm just setting this up for this video tutorial. So what you want to do is create button. Normally this would say create button, but I had issues with Camtasia, so I had to come back and just redo this little part. So what you want to do is select code, and I'm going to copy it drop it into a document. I'm going to actually show you how to use this code. And what I normally do is use this email button, so I'm going to copy it too. And I'll be back very shortly. And what I'm going to do is log into a website and show you how to use this coding. Okay, this is the type of page that you'd send someone to 
if you are using a password protected web page to deliver the product to your customer. You can see how this top line says this website just sent a link to your email address and the reason is that it includes a secret password and you could also use a page like this for ebooks and free reports and such that you're giving away to help you build your list which is exactly what I'm doing with this web page. So remember that membership website software is best by far but it can be expensive so for people that can't afford it password protected web pages will work. Personally I've used many different software programs for this. The first one that I used was called S2 Member. It's actually free but I found it to be very complicated to use. My first real internet marketing product was called How to Be First on Google and I used membership software called Optimize Press for that one. I've used seemingly countless different softwares and since I started using wishlist software to protect my content I've never looked back. Anyone that happens to need any help choosing membership software don't hesitate to send an email to admin at ebusinessmasterclass.com. So anyway now back to how to use PayPal code on your website. Here I'm working from a page that I have saved as a draft, never publish. It's a good idea to set up a page like this on your website so you can practice with things like this. So to add a PayPal button to your website using PayPal's code, copy it and I use control C. What you want to do here is make sure that you're in text, paste it, I use control V, now preview it. See there's the button, that's from the code that we just got off of PayPal. Now someone clicks on it, they're led straight to PayPal, and if I logged in right now and I paid, it would lead me directly to the page that I chose back on PayPal, which of course is ebusinessmasterclass.com. So what I'm going to do right now is show you how to add a PayPal link using your own button. And I finally made it back to kokataonlinebusiness.com where this tutorial all started from. Okay, right here you can see this is a button that I created myself. This is just an image and I added it to this web page like I do any image. So to add a PayPal link to your own button, copy this one right here. Remember this, it's from email link, right? So what you want to do is highlight it and copy it. And again I use Control C. Go back to the draft, click on the image, click insert edit link, and you paste your link right there. Now it's usually a good idea to open a new window tab and add link. Now if I go to preview changes someone clicks on this they are led to the PayPal link that you add and that is how to add a PayPal link in WordPress. So as for the EBM members, I'm going to go back and show you how to use them other pages now. And of course I'm going to take my link off of Kenneth's website. So I'll see you back here in a few minutes.